Alrighty, I'm back into the business of building this park. And it's been a little bit, like a week and a half since I've recorded and I got kind of busy there and I will be busy again here in a minute. But I plan on recording a couple of episodes in tonight and tomorrow and having them come out in over the course of this weekend and early next week. So that way I can actually have more consistent content. And then there will be another point coming up soon enough where I will also be very busy. So I will do the same thing again then. And hopefully it'll be able to space out pretty well. <clears throat> no more nine day gaps in between. I want I want to be more consistent than that. Okay, so back to the park itself. I want to change this colors. I, I want to change these colors for sure. I'm going to do that this episode. And I don't think there's much tweaking that I need to do with what I've done. May I'll change some of the stuff back here and I will probably connect this up this episode too so we can actually get these shops connected to the supply depot um what else we're actually getting to the town hall this episode which is part of the reason why i wanted to do this entire downtown downtown main street section was for this town hall it i will be using the york town hall in australia to as inspiration as well as just some other standard town halls you might see across America um and from there the streets will kind of go into two directions here one will head up this way and one will come around here which will turn into the national park themed area and up here will kind of turn into a kids themed area but this this is the last episode of the main street for sure. No matter what, I'm going to be finishing it all. There's going to be a few more buildings, a couple more over here that will have souvenir food shops in it and a couple more here. And then eventually I'll put a train station along here. I don't know if I'll get to that this episode, but we shall see. So I think on that, I will... I will go ahead and get into this. And if I think of anything else, I'll try to mention it after the time lapse. So yeah, here we go.
Okay, so we're out of the time lapse now, and I'm having one of those days where nothing isn't quite turning out how I want it to, but I'm still happy with all of this. Uh, let's talk about the town hall first. I'm pretty, pretty happy overall with the town hall. I This peak area, I think I could do better on that, and I may come back to it. The clock and the kind of details on this section aren't as elaborate as I would have hoped. I'm pretty happy with how this whole doorway thing turned out. I this these two different colors of glass are bugging me, and I I'll have to fix that because it's it's just bugging me like that. And then there's these windows on the side, which I'm pretty proud of. I haven't had to make custom windows before. Um, but this building really needed it. I kind of try to stay away from it for the most part. Um, but yeah, using the blueprint tool is very handy for something like this because you just make one or two and then copy and paste it all around the rest of the building. And that is something that I've only recently started to use a lot. And I, I really, I'm really finding it helpful. Um, uh, this building over here, I really like. I may change the flooring inside of it, but I, I really like how this turned out. I wish there was just a little piece to round out these corners right here, but what are you going to do? Um, and then this building, it's probably my least favorite that I've designed so far, but, and I, I like, I may come back to it. I may come back to it. I may not, because I tried to go for, there's this type of apartment, which is, it's kind of got like a staircase going in front of it like this. And um, I mean, I feel like you can kind of tell what I was going for here. But with Parkitect, the staircases are just too wide to be able to pull something off like that. Unless if I wanted to scale it up way bigger. But that's not something I'm trying to do in this park. Something I like to do, and it's completely unrealistic for most parks in the, in the world, is to build a underground I forgot my underground hotkey wow, let's get rid of some of this stuff too oh my goodness here we go um, underground paths just just so the uh, haulers will hopefully take that path instead of cutting across the, the uh, main streets that all of the guests are using but that's, it's completely unrealistic, but I like to do it just purely for, um, purely for game mechanics sake. Okay, let me get this all back to standard. Um, okay, so let's go to this other side of the street here. I was kind of burnt out at this point, but funnily enough that I feel like made me do a better job on these buildings across the street. Like this hat shop, it's very simple. You know, I, I was trying to get too complicated with this thing, I think. Um, no, this is, it's a very simple type of building. You know, you'll, you'll often see this kind of thing just in long rows of buildings that are all pretty much the same. Um, okay, so this building here, super simple. Wasn't trying to go for anything robust and kind of reminiscent of those pizza, pizza shops you'll see in... I don't know, cities like Chicago or New York, where, I mean, you know, you saw me cycle through the possible names like NY Pizza or NY Za. Um, but I ended up just doing this. I like the sign. You know, I always forget to go vertical with stuff sometimes, but it kind of looks like it says Pinna now, but that's, my brain is just messing it up, I think. Um, I don't like this. I want to change this alley thing that I've made here. The, on this side, it looks good. But there's there's something I'll have to do back here, and I'm not sure exactly what it is. But, yeah. And then I've got the back here, back here, the employee path. I think, surprisingly, this is really good, in my opinion. Like, normally my employee paths don't look this good. It's super, it's super simple. Again, like some of the other stuff I was doing here, but I feel like it it's probably one of the 
it's the perfect combination of like simple and, and functional and aesthetically pleasing. Something about it just is, is really doing it for me. And I normally don't think about making paths different sizes as they go along. And seeing this right here makes me want to consider that more in the future. Also, I've never done this in parks before. I've never used cornices as curbs. I tried it out for the first time in this park. And now I can't stop doing it. It looks so much better than just having it be like that, you know? Anyway... I think that's going to have to be it um, for this episode. Please let me know what you think in the comments. I'd really appreciate to hear, hear your feedback if you have anything to say. And yeah, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.